Hey guys, have you ever gone to the store to purchase some ghee and be like, wow, this is expensive? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make ghee at home and save yourself a lot of money. You don't want to miss out on this one, so let's go to the stove. Ghee is simply butter with the moisture and milk solids removed, and that's what we're doing. I'm using the Costco brand butter, the unsalted sweet cream. You can use any brand of unsalted butter you have. But you want to try to use a pot or pan with a heavy bottom that will not burn the milk solids easily. You want to have your stove on medium heat to melt the butter. And guys, you don't have to cut the butter. You can just drop the blocks in there. I just like to cut it because I feel it melts faster and more evenly. Gently keep stirring to make sure they are melting evenly. And once the melting process is finished, we're going to put our stove on low heat. It usually takes within 3 to 5 minutes to melt on the whole process about 20 minutes. But you have to pay close attention and keep stirring it. So whenever you're planning to make ghee, you don't want to be too busy in the kitchen because 2 to 3 minutes could make a big difference and you can end up with burnt ghee. It's all melted so I'm going to turn the stove on low heat. You don't want to have a rolling boil going on, just a simmer. Trying to position the pot where you can clearly see what's going on inside. As it starts to boil, you can stop stirring it. You will notice some whitish tiny bubbled foam appearing at the top. That's the moisture evaporating. The ghee will slowly separate into three layers. The foam on the top, the actual ghee on the middle layer, and at the bottom of the pot, the milk solids will settle. I love cooking with ghee and you can cook almost everything with ghee. Ghee also has a higher smoke point than regular oils. So you can also use it for frying. And guys, it will give all your foods an entirely different taste. It's like butter with a slightly roasted nutty background note. When you're in about 10 to 12 minutes of boiling and as the moisture reduces, the foam will start to pull away from the center towards the corner of the pot and dissipates to the bottom. And guys, you will hear all kind of weird sounds, popping, crackling. It's okay, it's the water boiling out. I also love to light my diyas with ghee, especially around Diwali. The ambience in the house is so heavenly relaxing peaceful i know many of us are already using ghee for religious purposes and cooking but we're buying it very expensive at the store this is just a cheaper way to make your own ghee at home and we're not compromising the quality here it's the same quality you're paying for you're just making it for less at home when you see tiny transparent bubbles start showing up at the top, you want to keep an eye at the bottom of the pot. You can take your spoon and make a way so you can see what's going on down there. The milk solids will quickly settle at the bottom and you don't want them to burn. You want them to brown gently. Do you notice the color is starting to change from a yellowish to a gold? And I can see the milk solids settling in the bottom and it's starting to get brown. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I can see it. And guys, if you should follow my instructions on Maggie at home, can you please leave me a comment on how your first experience was? Mine was pretty bad. I would like to know what yours is. For those of us who lives in a warm climate and love butter and sometimes have a problem to store it in a cool place, this is the perfect way to preserve butter and ghee has a much much longer shelf life than butter. If you guys can see what I'm seeing, there's a lot more milk solids settled at the bottom and they're getting brown. At this point I will take the heat off and I'm adding one teaspoon water. This will stop the cooking process and also give the ghee that grainy semolina like texture. If you want your ghee texture to be smooth, then don't add any water. I let it cool down for a couple minutes and I'm straining it. You can also use a cheesecloth to strain it. You want to try to hold back on the milk solids in the bottom. I'm straining it in a measuring cup so you guys can see how much ghee I got from one pound of butter. Looks like one and a little bit more than half cups. It is recommended to store it in a clean dry glass bottle. 
and if you're planning on using it to cook, you may want to keep it nearby the stove. You can also store it in the refrigerator for many months. And guys, try to always use a clean spoon for dipping. You don't want any cross-contamination, then bacteria will grow and it will ruin your ghee. And I'm not doing this for any ritual purpose right now, just a quick demonstration to show you guys that it does work to burn the deers. So the next time you go to the store and they have butter on sale, grab a lot. But make sure you leave some for me. After about 30 minutes, my ghee is still burning and as you can see, the ghee is starting to settle and the texture has changed into a semolina like. This is perfect, just how I wanted it. And thanks for watching. If you guys are enjoying my videos and wants me to keep uploading, please hit that subscribe button and kindly share with your friends and family. Stay safe. Love you guys.